Well, today lawmakers in Albany are discussing the governor's health proposals during a budget hearing. That's right. And our New York Capitol correspondent Elise Klein breaks down some of the talking points of the hearing and she spoke to lawmakers about their funding priorities. Elise, what are you hearing today? Nick, Renata, good evening. There were a number of issues raised in the hearing today, but one of the main topping po topic points was Medicaid, an issue that some lawmakers say they are very concerned about within the governor's proposals for revisions and reductions. Today, in the first of 11 budget hearings, lawmakers focus on the governor's budget proposals for health care. Some lawmakers raise concern about the governor's proposed changes and cuts to the state's Medicaid program, particularly for long-term care. The governor's uh, budget really decimates the nursing home industry. The governor's plan reduces $400 million in long-term care services. The commissioner of the New York State Department of Health says these cuts are an effort to make the Medicaid program more sustainable, with a projected 20% spending increase in long-term care alone. Governor's approach is to work the legislature and see if we can find cuts, hopefully on things that won't negatively impact people. That's what it's about. It's about partnership, about trying to find savings where we can together. It's about partnership. Some lawmakers worry these cuts could lead to closures of nursing homes and long-term care facilities. So it's problematic. We're going to have to take a hard look at uh, ways to restore some of the more severe cuts. Some Democratic lawmakers say they share concerns of cuts and potential closures of facilities, but they also say addressing the continued increase to Medicaid enrollment and spending is important. And nobody likes to see cuts. On the other hand, we also can't have an 11 percent increase in Medicaid year over year when we're talking about not a uh, hundred thousand dollar increase but billions of dollars of increase so we have to walk that balancing line Again, today's hearing is the first of 11 budget hearings, some of which are combined. So the legislature still has a ways to go before they actually put together their budget proposals. But we will be following budget talks as they continue on. Nick, Renata, back to you.